Hello and welcome to another video of time series forecasting. I started this chapter by describing three types of patterns that you can observe in a time series. I talked about trend, seasonal and cyclical patterns. I also talked about different combinations of these patterns that you can observe in a time series and I said that a series with cyclical behavior is a series which shows ups and downs in a series those are not of a fixed frequency. That is, a series could go up and down without any predictable pattern. And in this video, I'm going to extend the same concept and I'm going to introduce you to a very special kind of cyclical behavior where a series will be showing only cyclical pattern and nothing else. Remember, a series can show us cyclical behavior along with any of these two patterns. So a series can show us cyclical pattern along with a trend or a cyclical pattern along with a seasonal pattern. But in this video, we're going to look at a series which will show us only a cyclical pattern. And there's a very special name for this type of series. This series is called white noise series. Okay, so a white noise series is a time series that shows no autocorrelation. That is, if uh, we look at the ACF of uh, this type of uh, series, no correlation coefficient will be statistically significant. So this type of series will show us no autocorrelation in between uh, various lags. Now, as I said earlier, a white noise series is a special case of uh, cyclical pattern. But in this case, this cyclical pattern will be applied to the whole series and this series will show us only cyclical pattern will not observe any trend or seasonality in this type of series but only cyclical pattern so now if a series is white noise then 95 percent of the acf the correlation coefficients will be within plus minus 2 divided by square root of t right so for example if number of observations or number of time periods in our data set is 50 then we can calculate 2 divided by the square root of 50 is equal to plus minus will be here plus minus 2.8 therefore 2.8 will be our critical value on the plus side and minus 2.8 will be our critical value in the negative side so now if a series is uh, white noise then 95% of the spikes will be within uh, this bound. So we may observe a couple of spikes outside, but majority of the spikes or correlation coefficients will be within uh, these bounds. And if more than 5% of uh, the spikes are outside this range, plus minus 2 over square root of t, then the series is not white noise. So white noise series is uh, a series which shows only cyclical pattern and no other pattern and 95% of the correlation coefficients or the spikes in the ACF are within plus minus 2 divided by the square root of t which means 95% of the correlation coefficients will be within this range and if more than 5% of the spikes are outside this range then the series is not white noise. Now this series is very important because the, later on we're going to use this idea to evaluate uh, the accuracy of the model and compare various models. So it's important that you understand the concept of uh, white noise. Okay, so here's an example of uh, white noise series in R. So let's uh, start with uh, running uh, FPP2 library and then I'm going to set C to 30 because I'll be working with random numbers. So this seed will help uh, you to replicate the same results as this example. So I'm going to generate uh, 50 random numbers. I'm going to use this function R norm and uh, generate 50 random numbers. And then I'm going to set these 50 numbers as time series object and save it as uh, series Y. You can look at the summary statistics and head and tail of uh, this data set. So let's plot this series and have, have a look at uh, this series. And we already know that this series was randomly generated. Hence, uh, it is showing only a cyclical behavior that is ups and downs without any 
seasonality or trend in it. So now whether this series is a white noise that is whether this series shows only cyclical behavior we need to go and uh, look at uh, the autocorrelation function and uh, there are 50 observations and as I showed you earlier our critical value is plus minus 2.8 and we expect 95% of uh, these spikes to be within uh, these blue dotted lines and we can see that in fact all of uh, these ACF spikes are within these blue dashed lines hence we can conclude that uh, this series is white noise and it shows no other pattern okay so this is the concept of uh, white noise so building on the white noise in the next video i'm gonna talk about a test that you can apply to know whether a series is white noise or not all right i'll see you in the next video bye bye